In three days, we leave for our big family camping trip and we have some prep work to do. I'm going to give you to Aaron now because he's going to give you the lowdown. We were going to be working on the OBS Ford because we got some new parts for it, but... Yep, I'm laying under here taking a look at it. We've got a reverse shackle kit. Ford, when they made this from the factory, they put the shackles in the front and it causes it to ride really rough. So if you reverse those, then you get a smoother ride, which this truck really needs. So I just dug everything out of the boxes and I pulled up on the internets the little instructions for it. And I'm going through it and it says, remove front bumper, remove factory pan hard bar. It doesn't say anything about the intercooler because these trucks didn't have one from the factory, but ours has the banks on it. So I'd have to remove the intercooler, which means taking the grill and all this stuff off to get to it. Then we got to drill a bunch of holes. We got templates to use. We got to drill holes in the back and trim the brackets. And if I'm being honest, when I laid down on this creeper, it felt pretty darn good. <laughs> So my ambition dropped significantly for just improving my personal comfort on this trip. I don't think being bumpy on a highway for five hours is really going to hurt me as much as installing these parts. So we're going to move on to the kid's truck. And you know what? If we get done at the end of the week and I'm just bored, I may come back over here and throw this stuff on here. But for now, this truck's done. We're going to move it out. We released the OBS episode couple days ago and you guys said that the pinch bolt on the steering was not tight so appreciate you guys looking out for us but here we're gonna look in here that's it it turned a little bit that's pretty dang tight so now let's look under the dash to make sure that one's done so this other bolt goes right here and we have one right here and they are tight so we are safe guys Never hesitate to point out something that you see us do that you think may be wrong. So we really appreciate it. We definitely are capable of making mistakes and it feels good to have you guys looking over our backs. That's right. We love y'all so much. Absolutely. Now, I had a bunch of people telling me that I can adjust that steering box. And I know I can, I've done it. I did it on Garfield whenever that box was all messed up. And I just, I don't want to dig down in there right now. We have so much more stuff to do, so we're gonna leave that for now. It's not gonna affect the safety of it. It's just annoying that it's got a little slop in it and it has all new parts, but right now, rock and roll. Let's move on to the next thing. Before I pulled Dream into the shop, I wanted to run him up and take him to the car wash because it's been sitting out in the yard and it's dirty. And I just texted my mom and sister like, you guys wanna sit in the hot box with me to go to the car wash real fast? I think my sister's gonna come. And I just texted mom, mom may jump in, but it might just be my sister and I, but we're gonna run to the car wash. It's like 3000 degrees in here. And uh, you know, you wanna share in the misery because it's fun. Everybody wants to wash their vehicles today. Uh -huh. <laughs> the bed is all, uh, Dirty, see? Looks like a real truck now, not all pristine bed. There's a there's an art to this. Let's see if she can do it. Oh my heavens. Because her daughter learned the art, it just flowed through her. She just had the knowledge and the touch. <laughs> All right, she's all cleaned off. He it, is all cleaned off. Um, if you're wondering where the kid is, she goes and spends some of the summer with her dad in Florida. So she arrives home tonight and we're really excited to have her back. Um, 
So we're gonna work on the truck a little bit today and then tomorrow we will be doing more prep on this truck so that it is nice and ready to hit the road for Washita. I just cranked the truck and I was like, oh yeah, you were gonna drive. <laughs> It's such a nice driving truck. Driving this truck is the reason why we put power steering and an automatic transmission in Garfield. So you can put it in low gear. Okay. And then um, have to manually shift it up from there. But the auto, automatic trans, and the power steering are the reason we put that on Garfield. Once Aaron drove this home from Memphis, he was like, we have got to put an automatic and power yeah. steering in Garfield because it just drives so nice. <sighs> She's great. Uh, it. She. She. I. I think. I don't know. Cars just naturally want to be she's when. I feel like it too. Brakes feel good. Yes. Feels great. I'm doing the double like you. Yeah, I know. I was telling her. Um, I always drive with two feet in an automatic that's old because I'm used to having something that like maybe is gonna want to die on me and I'm gonna want my gas pedal. <laughs> My gas put on the pedal just in case I need to like keep it running if it the idle dips, you know, or whatever. So I'm used to just like having my brake foot ready for braking um, instead of using my gas foot. Plus, I'm so used to driving standards too. Like my left leg gets bored. It's so bored. <laughs> Pull out to the right and go around if you want, okay? You might have to do that. Oh, dream. She is a dream. Look <laughs> at it. So good. driving dream. I did. It's a dream. <laughs> How's the water temp doing? It's only, it's just under 190. All it right. smells hot. Kind of yeah. smells hot, but. Where do you see that? Right Let's there. Go ahead and shut it off. Okay. So good. Mm -hmm. She drives so nice. Love it. We kept, I started off earlier calling it a heat, but then she keeps coming out, so I don't know what it is. They, them. Yeah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's clean. So last time Aaron was underneath this truck, he noticed that the harmonic balancer had spun. And that was a really good find because we were unaware that had taken place. So he is pulling that off now. I love it when your headlight crosses like a little bit more, like a little bit this direction. Oh yeah, it like lights your face so pretty, but um, pretty. A little more handsome than pretty, but <laughs> but I could just get little flashes of it. Are you finished? I need a problem. Okay. Oh, there it is. You're so handsome. Okay, pry bar, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm have to loosen that belt. It's they're tight. Oh, we gotta get a puller in here. round up a longer bolt for that, which we probably won't have because that's fine thread. So, 
I really don't want to hit the end of this with a hammer and push it in at all, because that's just hard on the thrust bearings. I will do it if I have to, but I don't want to. Let me see if I can find another bolt. Checking in with you. It is the next day. Aaron got underneath the truck and he was about to install the harmonic balancer and realized that we needed an installer. So um, we ran to the parts store, of course, and um, O'Reilly grabbed one for us and we didn't get it till this morning. So we are back here. And in fact, we had a fun start to the morning because we went out on our Malibu because we installed a ride steady system on it, which is cruise control. So we can pull skiers and wakeboarders and stuff really easily, kind of modernize it. Our speedometer on that boat was broken, had gone out on us. So those things are like a thousand bucks, 900 to a thousand, some of them 800. So yeah, we were uh, really excited when that cruise control system replaced the speedometer and it's all GPS. It was awesome to install. And we tested that out this morning and had fun. Wrapped that episode and came here to resume work on Dream dream sickle but just dream right now um yeah Aaron's being a badass as usual here's our little tool that we screw down in there I'm trying to decide I got a indicator do I put that on now or do I do that later is it, is this bolt going to be in the way I don't know I gotta figure this out Okay, Aaron has given me the green light to put the belts back on. So I'm gonna start over here with the power steering. Get that all sorted. Power steering's tight. Will you um, help me get a pull on this alternator while I tighten the bolt? Because I can't seem to get it to like pull the way I want it to, yep. to tighten. Like when I go like that, it just lifts up on the bracket. There it is. I can see that hole from here. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. I'm very curious to see if the belts are still aligned with that different balancer on there. It kind of almost doesn't look like they are, but I'm tight. Yeah. It almost looks like it's the alternator set back a little bit. It does look like the alternator set back a little bit, but the water pump's on with the crank. So that means the alternator bracketry is not right. Which makes sense because that's the one it pitched. Yeah. Our steering looks good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that alternator's off a little bit. Need to figure out what we can do about that. Shimming out a little bit. Yeah, the problem is you got a bolt here that. Well, that was. I remember when we installed that intake. That was the yeah. issue. But the belts are on, so I guess we just see how long they stay on. Yeah. Address that later. Yep. So on the side of the road when probably, it's 110 degrees. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably put a green belt on it because those don't pitch as often. Oh yeah. We'll see. All right, we've just swung the doors open and we are going to fire it up and see how it runs. See if it pitches the belt off, see if the timing is looking good. Yeah, we just realized that our timing light is in Garfield, which is at the other house. So we'll be doing that tomorrow morning, which works better because the kid got back in town a couple days. Well, last night, night. Before, last night, yeah. Midnight last night. Yeah, late. So she'll be here in the morning and she'll get to see how the test light works while I'm relearning how to use it in front of her. Yeah. Because I'm a diesel guy. Because we don't do that very often. Nope. Okay, so we will hit the key and check those belts and... Fire in the hole. Fire in the freaking hole. That looks good. It didn't crank up quite as fast as it usually does. It's idling nice. The belt doesn't look bad. No. It's like running, it doesn't look like it's in a bind. I know it only takes a little bit of misalignment. Yeah, but we're definitely going to buy a green one. They hold better and they get spared. So, yeah. And the fuel looks really good. I don't see any sediment in it. 
So one of the things that I noticed off camera yesterday um, was that we had quite an oil leak. And when we were looking around at it, we're like, what could be leaking? And uh, two of the valve cover bolts were loose. So, you know, we had these valve covers off when we did the rescue of the truck in Memphis and we just must have forgotten to tighten them. So that's a really easy oil leak to fix, we assume. So I'm gonna spray some of this uh, parts cleaner and degreaser from CRC on the side of the valve cover and the block here in hopes that once we run the truck, then we won't see any more oil coming out. I love this parts degreaser because they have two different kinds. They have the foamy one that you rinse off with water that just melts the oil away. And then this one's more like using brake clean, which so many of us are guilty of using brake clean to degrease stuff, but this is actual degreaser and cleaner and it dries like brake clean does. So, And it comes out with such a force that it just makes you feel powerful. But before I spray it, I'm gonna toss some gloves on. All right. Obviously these manifolds are still a little warm. Oh, yeah. oh it's so satisfying. I don't need to clean this part, but I want to. <laughs> but I'm out. Oh, so fun. Okay. Nice. Very cool. So it's 4th of July. It's about 1 o'clock, I guess. I'm not looking at my clock, but... It's 12 o'clock. Emily's entire family's out at the lake enjoying it. And I think I may be of use in the kitchen. So what we have left is I got on Amazon and got the kid a really cool little seat cover and they're gonna shine juice it. I've gotta get the transmission where it's shifting right, set the timing. I tried to find a fan shroud. I can't find a fan shroud for this. When I say I can't find it in the timeline that I need it to be. Summit Racing said they can get it in October. That doesn't help us for this trip. So I think what we'll do tomorrow is get this all secured, drive it, and then let it sit out in the sun and idle and see if it tries to overheat. This trip we're taking, it's all gonna be highway. There's, unless we run into traffic, we won't really get into any stop, you know, sitting and idling. So hopefully this will be okay. I know it's dangerous, but I don't know what else to do with it. We can rob one off of Garfield or off the C30 because we got to take it apart anyways but I really hate doing that, so we'll just see. Tomorrow's gonna be a fun day. We got a lot of work to do on this. So we will check back in with you guys tomorrow when it's time to see more progress on this truck with the kid. Well, good morning. It's the 5th. We had a great time with the family last night out at the lake watching fireworks and eating hot dogs and all that fun stuff. And Emily just left the shop with the kid, her best friend, and two of her cousins. And while they're gone, I'm gonna try to get some stuff done on this truck. It's pretty well ready to go, but I need to check the timing. I need to figure out the vacuum on that transmission because it's not downshifting. You've got to manually shift it. Well, it's not shifting up to the gears either. You've got to manually shift it. So something's going on with the governor and I'm going to check that vacuum and see if that's what's happening. And then when they get back, they're going to shine juice it. They're going to put a seat cover on it. We've got a 12 volt like USB slash auxiliary thing to install because the factory stuff, it may or may not work and even if it does they can't charge multiple phones so we're gonna get that figured out and then a whole list of other things just to check the truck off the list but i'm gonna get started i'm gonna take advantage of this quiet time and so i can still think and get this going and i'm gonna take you along with me so i put a new harmonic balancer on there the belts look really good they're lined up and i also put a new indicator like a pointer of where it should be so i'm gonna fire it up and see if we're even on the map because as I understand it, the timing cover on it has the indicator going straight down, which you can't see because of the, the water pump. And I think the new harmonic balancer is designed to be off to the side. So fingers crossed, we got those two parts that match and we'll be able to actually read the timing. But I'm gonna crank it up and see if that's true.
know you guys probably couldn't see the indicator, but I can see it just barely. And it's showing that we're at zero degree timing, which is not good. That could explain why it's spitting back through the carburetor. You know, when we were in Memphis and we picked this up, I was just doing everything by ear. So I just kind of adjusted it to where I felt like it was idling pretty good and running smooth. And then we hit the road and we haven't touched it since. So I'm gonna tweak that around and try to get a little bit of timing in this thing. And we'll see how that changes it and how it acts. But I'm also gonna grab a flashlight so I can actually see which indicator I'm looking at. So I'm gonna mess with that a little bit. I don't know that I can film it very well. I'll, I'll tell you what it turns out to be when I'm done. That is exactly at zero degrees timing. So let's see if we can adjust that up. That's eight degrees. Let's pull that idle down a little bit. We're shooting for around 600 RPM. I don't have a tachometer, so I'm just going by ear. We're showing six degree timing right there. It's responding well, but I'm hearing a little bit of a lag. I don't know if it's in the carburetor or if we need more timing. So now I'm just gonna shut it off and then see how easy it starts. If we start to get too much timing in it, there'll be like a lag when it starts. No hesitation, it actually starts easier. So, I'm gonna bump a little more timing in it. All right, that should be about 10 degrees of timing. We'll see. Start super easy. Initial timing is at nine degrees. We're gonna go up a little bit more. A little bit much. All right, that's about 11 degrees of timing. That is sounding pretty good. See how she starts. Absolutely no hesitation. I'm gonna give her just a little bit more timing because I'm still hearing a bit of a lag when I first hammer it. And because this has a HEI, there's all kinds of information on the internet, but it seems like about 12 degrees initial timing is what you want this at. I'm gonna make a phone call here in a little bit and verify, but that's about where it should be right now. It's starting easy. The thing is, if you get it too advanced, basically your spark plug's trying to fire too early. So you get that room, and we don't want that. That was a really bad impersonation, but that's what we're trying to avoid. Okay, we're dead on at 12 degrees right now. And I'm going from the idle and I'm giving it everything. I'm very happy with that. Let's see how it does when we put it in gear and put a load on it. Believe it or not, I think it wants a little more timing. That seems pretty good. Now let's see if she tries to stumble. I'm very happy with that. It's not a hot rod, it's just a little 307, but the fact that you can add power to it while holding the brakes and it doesn't stumble, it doesn't choke, it doesn't backfire. You know, as a diesel mechanic, that may be all you're gonna get with me when it comes to gas engines. It's good, we'll move on to something else. Okay, I got the transmission figured out. It is routed to the back of the carburetor. There's a big port on the back of a Holley and I've got it hooked to that. And in my research, that while it may not be the perfect location, it will work. So I called under the truck and the old vacuum line was actually pinched and it was just rotted. So I just put a new hose on there, a good silicon one that's not gonna do that. And it seems to be working good. Now I'm on to installing some electrical wiring. So I've got this guy right here. It's got two USBs and then an auxiliary port, cigarette lighter, whatever you wanna call it. What I did is I just tied that into the factory cigarette port right there. I took the wire off the back, tested it, and it's working good. So I tied it into that, and we're gonna ground it through the screws that we mount it with. So I'm gonna get that done, and pretty soon the girls should be back so they can get busy making this thing pretty. 
Okay, y'all, we're back. <laughs> the whole gaggle of girls is back there behind us. We just had a run to town to try and get the title transferred for this truck so that it's ready for our trip. But what's most important right now is Erin just told us that your phone charger is connected yeah. in the truck. So we're gonna turn the key over to accessories and see if it will charge a phone. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, turned on the light. Yep. Oh, yep. Charging. It's working. Sweet. Awesome. Good job, Erin. Yeah, good job, Erin. You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Okay, I know you don't love the red paint, but let's make it shiny for now. Let's do it. Okay, look at us assembled. This is really, we're just ready. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with some shine juice from Vice Grip Garage. Derek and Jessica are good friends and they're amazing. And um, I wish I could say that I've watched like hundreds of their videos using this stuff, but I haven't. So this is my first time using it and we're just going to kind of wing it. Yeah. I'm going to put it in this little plastic container and all the girls can dip their sponges in it. Um, Uncle Aaron suggested that we do long wipes across the paint. So we're gonna start with that strategy, mm -hmm. and then we'll just kind of see how it goes on and see how we feel about it. And our overall feeling is that Alaya does not like this red paint. The kid does not like this red paint. <laughs> she wants her truck back factory orange and white, dream sickle colors. Yeah. Right now, what is its name? It's dream, because it doesn't look dream. like a dream sickle yet. <laughs> it's it's, so it's dream. just a dream. But right now we're gonna embrace the red paint we're taking it on a trip. We want it to look loved because it's so loved. Yeah. So we're going to toss some shine juice on it and see yeah. how we like it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, I'm putting gloves on. Ah! And Aaron went and got everybody safety glasses because he's very aware of all these safety measures yeah. that we're and I'm supposed to be taking. Okay. Yeah, fun fact, Ellie's birthday is on July 4th, so it was yesterday. Which is so cool. Happy birthday, dude. Actually, it's Yeah. I'm so excited. 12, 12, 13, and 16. Yeah, that's the line. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of oh, smells you? good. What? What does it smell like? It smells like toxins. Oh, it does yeah. smell good. <laughs> I like toxins. Like, like chemicals. I don't like chemicals. <laughs> Okay, I guess dip your sponge okay, and let's rock and roll. Okay, okay. you're the kid. I'll go for <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how much product you need on there. Probably ah, just let it soak okay. up. Okay. Yeah, it's absorbing pretty good. But these are great sponges. It's not guys. fully touching it. That's okay. Just get some well, on I there think and that's then. That's enough. probably good. Let me set down oh my. my gosh. <laughs> this is a lot more. Yeah. Than now to try to put some on and let's see what it does. Okay. You can do this. It's all in the same spot. Sorry, dude. I need to probably pour Is some it more. Working? Looks pretty shiny to me. Oh, oh it looks yeah. so good. Am I doing it correctly, Aaron? I think you are. Oh, oh dang. Oh, no, I, was I know, it's really. That stuff works. It smells so good. It really does. It smells like fruit. A mess. So, if any of you guys want a special edition shirt, bring back child labor, <laughs> we'll make it. Just let us know. Aaron has mentioned that before. <laughs> Bring back child labor. So I wonder if we leave it kind of thick like that and it soaks in. It'll look very shiny and thick and glossy. I know. Thick and glossy. Like, do we do, we do this too? Because this makes it shiny. I don't know if you'd use it. it on aluminum. I think you can use it on anything. Probably. <gasps> Yay! Let's, I'm going to go do back here in a bit. Okay, so dude. So pretty. Look. So pretty. pretty satisfying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chloe's gonna be pulling her truck in in a <laughs> <No>. minute. <laughs> old red, call it old shiny red. Wow. We do have a couple of jugs of this pretty? stuff. Oh yeah, it does make your grill look pretty. I know. Yeah. Dang, got kind of thin right there. Oh yeah, it does. I think I'm Here, you want some more juice? Juices. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because the paint's kind of dry, so it's. Yeah, because that like might be like a. Because I wonder if, I wonder if people normally like yeah. massage it into the paint, like, or if yeah, you like do, do some circular. Because like that's really like thick right there. Massage it in. Do you want more? Or you? <laughs> right? I should text Derek and be like, hey, give me a quick rundown of how to do this. Maybe I could try and FaceTime him. <gasps> yeah, that'd be cool. He might answer. I don't Can know you? if he's in the middle of something, but let me call Derek. 
Hello. Oh, Derek, hi. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, I just fixing to walk into the courthouse here and do some little work. You don't. The courthouse, that's what I've been doing this morning. Yeah. Um, so right now, we're using your shine juice for the very first time. Oh, sweet. Yeah, dude, on Elias truck, on the kids' C10. But I was gonna see if you have any tips for us. We're putting it on kind of thick. We've never used it before. I've never watched you use it. I'm kind of in the dark with it. Do we leave it kind of thick or do we massage it in? Is it the actual shine juice? The yes, shine sir. Juice on the yeah, it's not the clear coat. It's the shine juice. Yeah. A little bit goes a very, very long way. Okay. So I'll use a clean cotton t-shirt or rag or something like that. We got the little sponges. Of. Okay, sponges would be too heavy. Oh. So you, you want to use like a Something Didn't I throw some underwear thin. in there or some t-shirts or some something? Some underwear. Well, we got this from you at, you and Brian gave it to us at um, Iola last year. Okay. So we got so sponges this, with it. But yeah, the sponges are for the clear coat. But what okay. you want to do is get an old t-shirt or something and okay. cut it up. Okay. Um, or try to find some like yeah. non-dyed cotton rags from the parts store. Okay. And that'll help prevent putting too much on. Because what happens if you put it on way too heavy? Yeah. It gets, it will get a little sticky on you. Gummy? Okay, we'll start wiping yeah. this. We'll start wiping this. We got excited with the satisfaction of it looking shiny, so it's too thick right now. So we'll start wiping it down. So we do want to do a wipe motion. It doesn't matter if it's like wax on, wax off motion. Doesn't matter. Okay, cool. We'll just yeah, start. Draw, draw the alphabet, put smiley faces in it, whatever. Just scrub it in. Okay. Make sure it's nice and even, and then put it in the direct sunlight and let it bake, bake off. Okay. Texas is good for that. Okay, sweet dude, you're the best. Yeah, good luck with that. Send me some pictures, I'm excited to see it. Okay, I will. I'll tag you in some stories and soon we'll be hugging in Wisconsin. I'm just coming so fast. I know, We're dude, what the right heck? Now. And you're doing, you're doing the most this year. Holy cow. Oh, it's gonna be nuts. It is gonna be we'll nuts. Okay, we'll talk soon. Love you, dude. Tell Jess okay, hi. Later. Bye. I will. Bye. Okay, we gotta start wiping and get thinner stuff. Yeah, we, we flipped our sponges over and we're using okay. the other side of our sponges now. Okay, that conversation with Derek was illuminating. We should have looked at some instructions. So, I've got the girls with their sponges with the product. They're doing like a wipe of product and they're going back over it with a white rag. And I think they're liking the results. They're feeling like it's moisturizing the paint. It's not quite as like, ooh, it looks like a glossy clear coat because we had it on there too thick. The shine juice kind of just adds some luster to faded paint instead of making it look like clear coat. So they're doing good and I'm just gonna set this camera up and time lapse them making progress. I don't know why this was my initial thought. I was <laughs> to do this, but it was. I was like, put it on your head. Put it on your head. Put it on your head. Danny, you know, like, they've got the headrest. She's like, shooting up the rack. For the seat yes. covers. She's running around in that cap. Yes, sir. Then you can match your truck for sure. Yes. yes. Well, we have to oh wear that to this wash is the hat. Oh, oh my goodness. Wash it all. We should take photos of the wash it all. Yes. With the truck, we're sitting in the truck if our hats are. Oh, yeah. That yeah. is funny. Oh, yeah. Look. There's Cause it there's no hat rest. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. There's no hat rest. So 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 there's no Oh look, I'm hooking things. You just okay, kind of feel around and somewhere you can hook. I have found this kid I have found with the headrest hat. Wait. Oh wait, there's more. Girl, where are you going? Apple spider. Wait, I actually found somewhere I could hook it. Did you really? This is mayhem. So this happens quite frequently in the shop when Aaron just totally humbles me. Uh, the girls and I were just painfully working on the seat cover yes. and um, the, the seat would not slide forward for us the back does not fold forward so we were trying to get this dang seat cover installed couldn't get our arms behind there all this stuff and we were getting ready to unbolt the seat we were just coming to that and I was like Aaron come look at this and he just like lays underneath the passenger side of the seat and he's like go move that lever and then it was like all seized up so then he just slid it 
Okay, Ellie got it. Because there's room now to fit your arm behind the seat. And before, you know, there was like no room. It was terrible and frustrating. So, bottom line is Aaron is awesome. And you've got to keep people around that are awesome like this. Like Aaron. Oh, yeah, hang on. Like behind Ellie? Okay. They're getting it done. By the way, Chloe is a certified gearhead. She bought this Freiburger shirt and wore it here, and I was so excited to see that. That was major, major <laughs> excitement. Yes. <laughs> okay, y'all. The girls got the seat cover put on after Aaron helped them move the seat forward. <laughs> they were able to reach around and get it tightened, and it looks pretty good. I was just playing with the uh, Shine Juice with one of these rags, and I think it looks really nice. I have the paperwork for the title transfer. I had to fill it out, so I'm gonna run back up there. But first I have to go get it inspected. So I'm um, gonna do that, check that off the list. The girls all got the opportunity to go to the lake. <laughs> and so they like up and split. Like they got their two tasks done on the truck and they were like, okay, we're going to the lake. <laughs> so I was like, okay, we'll see y'all soon. So I'm gonna run and do this running around. That was super fun and cute watching them work on the truck. And tomorrow we are going to be loading this thing down to head camping. So it's gonna be awesome. And uh, yeah, get our little taken care of today so we can hit the road on Sunday. It's a beautiful morning, Sunday, and we are about to load up. Abby's driving dream. We've got a group of girls. We've got Fiona and the R-Pod loaded up. Wow. Looks like Dream's ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Y'all are jamming. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. What do you think, Lily? <laughs> so, Chloe, our, our the resident car girl, has a very wonderful shirt on this morning. She just scored it at Walmart. Got an early Bronco on it. When? Carson's also amazing. She watches our videos and comments. Her sister. Yes, it's amazing. Family. We are stoked on it. All right, time to keep loading. So, the floor panel, or like, the floor is all rotted and gross, and it's kind of gross to put your feet on, because I like to take my, my shoes off when we're road tripping. So, we're going to go see if there's a little cover in the C30 camper. So, let's go check it out. Oh, that was easier to open than I thought. So, looks like it lives here, and I don't want to break it, so we're not gonna take it. That's all right, we'll be good. The OBS is loaded. We have one little bit of real estate for my grandfather's little scooter. My sweet grandparents, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. <laughs> and gen okay. four and four <laughs> four generations going camping no oh, about to roll out that's abby and Elia and chloe in this truck we're waiting on them to move probably having a conversation like have you seen my fourth extra lipstick i can't find it anywhere i know we're 30 minutes late but let's let's go back in the house and see if we can find it if not then we can go to the store and get that fourth extra because we can't travel without it so Nobody will mind. They don't mind waiting. <laughs> okay. Where are you, Finley? I'm like... We got Finley. We got Lily. We got Carson for a minute, but she's being dropped off with the rest of our family because she doesn't get to go on this leg of the journey with us. Dang it. And then we're going to pick up the grandparents' camper, and then we're going to be on the road. Pray for that rig. It's got a five-hour drive. over here on her phone probably talking to you guys doing a selfie video oh she's got to take a picture that's the elders wondering why in the heck it's taking so long okay i'm gonna act like mom's not pulled up right there really close to me hopefully emily doesn't hit this tree and knock her air conditioner off oh man 
comes close. There goes Kathy and her parents. On trips like this, I always drive in the back. That way if anybody has tire trouble or they break down, I've got plenty of time to stop, help them out, get the flashers on and make sure everybody's safe. Yep, here we go. Hopefully this OBS will do fine. I've not driven a lot in the last two years, so. Cross our fingers, here we go. Okay, we are all loaded and ready to hit the road. Awesome. Yep. Let's go, Lily. First fuel stop, Lily's got her snacks. She's ready. And all the girls are standing over there at Dream, hanging out. And all the rigs are over there. And uh, it's a good day. Some Checked snackies. out my aunts. They're the cutest thing. snackies? Yeah, we got snackies. Oh, they, they all wear done. their matching shirts on road trip day. This is my road trip shirt. Here we go. They're cute. And there's my sister. Where'd your kids go? They're getting food. So how's Dream driving? She is amazing. Dude, you're cruising. Like I've got the cruise set at 65 and you just stay right with me. I try to keep the right amount of distance. Yep. So I can break if I need to. Yep. I mean, Great. you're doing awesome. Thank you. Yay. Y'all got your food? Yes. yes. How's Dream feeling to you, kid? Amazing. Yeah? Yeah. He's just cruising He's along. Cruising along. Oh my gosh. so good. So fun. I love it. All right, it's about time to load up. Ooh. Got a couple more hours left on our trip. Let's go, Lily. Bend. The campground my family has camped at since 1964. It is so crazy. Such a beautiful little drive-in. We'll get all the campers set and the truck beds unloaded and then it will be time for a swim in the lake. We are so excited. Abby just told me she did a whole bunch of filming, so we have footage. I love it. 
You guys, it was such a beautiful drive in. And the only thing was I heard Dream making a little bit of power steering noise, right? Yes. It was kind of humming. So we'll check the fluid and, but like take a deep breath. We're here. It's time to unload all the junk that we brought and um, settle into camp. So good yes. stuff. Kid, your truck made it. Like, yeah. Holy cow. It did great. You did great too, sis. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Getting it done. We are all loaded up in the back of Dream. We got camp all set up, hung out for a while, and now we're going to go to the little cafe for dinner. Because on load in night, we do not make food at camp because we're all tired. So, yeah. Abby's driving, Aaron's shotgun. Me and the girls are back here. Pretty good parking spot there, sissy. I like it. <laughs> Going in for some grub. We just got back to camp from dinner. It was delicious and it is time to make beds and snuggle in for the night. And tomorrow, Aaron and I will hit the road for Iola, Wisconsin for the Iola Car Show. And we're really looking forward to it. And then after we do that, we'll be back to camp with the family. Well, it is a soggy morning at camp. <laughs> it's currently raining on us and we just helped the family get camp sorted for rain. And Aaron and I are all loaded up and ready to hit the road for Iola, Wisconsin. We hope to see a bunch of you at the Iola Car Show this year. It's gonna be an amazing one. And uh, on the next episode, that's where we'll be. So we'll see y'all then. Hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you soon. Side note, Aaron and I installed a weight distribution and anti-sway system on the Bronco and on the R-Pod trailer. And it really helped it. Like the way that it drove was so much better and the ride height also, like it was squatting the Bronco a little and now everything is super level and nice. So that is an awesome little addition and uh, it's helped very much. So time to get on the road. See y'all soon. <laughs>